My name is Nick Place, my DRE number is 11379, and I've been a DRE since 2004. And for a long time, I had a nice pen light and it worked great up until about six months ago when it stopped working. And I had a heck of a time trying to find a replacement for my pen light. So if you're ever in the market for a new pen light or an upgrade, hopefully you don't have to go through some of the headaches that I did trying to find a replacement. All right, the Tox Optics X3. Now, I think most DREs have heard of this pen light mainly because of the patent pending timing system for the HGN test. I'll be honest, I like the timing system. For me, it's just a good review to make sure I'm doing things right. And second, it's a good teaching tool. I like that I can use this for teaching SFSTs or mainly teaching air ride. And if, if I come across someone with bad habits, it's just an additional tool that I can use to hopefully break those bad habits. The other thing I like about the timing system is there is a 15, 30, and 90 second timer with this. Okay, so for example, you for the using the white medical pen lamp, you can hit the 15 second timer and, and use that for your 15 second direct light check. The um, 30 second timer I found useful for, as a instead of using my second hand watch, I can use the 30 second timer for the one leg stand test. And then again, um, I mentioned before I had a hard time finding a good LED pen lamp. This pen lamp, uh, when I spoke to the, the owner of the company, Roger, he said a lot of work went in behind the scenes to make sure that these light settings were just right. Again, most of the LED lights I looked at, the, they were too bright, but this Again, a lot of work went into this, and he even had the pen light reviewed by Dr. Siddick, who said that this pen light met the requirements and guidelines for light sources used by DREs and other officers. Now, while I, I did follow up with Dr. Siddick on that, he did say that this pen light does meet those light requirements. So for me, that is huge. This pen light replaces three lights that I have, and let me break this down for you with a short video on the specifications for this pen. What I want to do is just break down the Tox Optics X3. The reason for that, after reviewing these different pen lights, this is by far my favorite one, and this is the one I'm going to be using out in the field. And I just like to just go through and explain why. Um, this is a lot different than your usual pen light where you hit the button, light comes on, and that's all there's to it. This has some features to it. So the on off switch is here, and what it does is it turns on these LED lights up here. I mean, at the end, there we go. Okay, so it hits these, there's six buttons on the front. Um, it's just starting out with the different timers. So it has a 15, 30, and 90 second timer. I mentioned before, I like that 30 second timer. If you're doing like something like the one leg stand test, you can hit this and it'll buzz three times and those 30 seconds are up. I, I like that feature. Um, if you're doing the, the direct light, there's a 15 second timer that you can hit with that. It reminds you when those 15 seconds are up. Another useful feature that, again, specific for DREs, it has the five different settings that we use for the HGN test, starting with equal tracking, and then also uh, going all the way to the end to vertical nystagmus. How it works, you hit the button, it buzzes to let you know that to start. When you get out to the side, buzzes two times. When you go back to the middle, buzzes again, and so on and so forth, until the end where it buzzes um, three times to let, let you know that you're done. Again, I like it. You know, a good review for me and also for teaching purposes. What's nice about this too, this red light, when I spoke to the owner of the company, he said that they put a lot of research getting this red light just right, not only for the HDM test for the person to follow, but also to do for near total darkness. So what's nice is no more putting your thumb over that bright white light to capture near total darkness. You can just use this as a standalone to go and get your pupil check in the dark room. What I thought is great, again, very DRE specific, is you hit the function button, this bottom button right here, goes right into the UV light. Um, again, saves me an extra tool in the dark room. And I would caution though, if you are gonna use a UV light to check out the video produced by IACP back in 2014, that goes through the criteria for using a UV light, because if you don't do that, if you do it incorrectly, you will distort the pupil size. So make sure you check that out before using any UV light. Lastly, the direct light, again, it goes in sequence from the red to the blue to the direct, uh, the white light. Again, all of these were reviewed by Dr. Siddick, meets the light specifications that we need for our DRE exam. And I mentioned before about the 15 second timer. I know this pen light is a little bit on the pricier side. I'm looking for a quality pen light. So for me, with all the features and, and the quality of the pen itself, it's very much worth that $90. After I did this project, here are my rankings of the different pen lights that I reviewed. And at number one, clearing away for me was the Tox Optics X3. 
listen, I think this pen light should be standard issue for all DREs. I mentioned why I like the timing system. I mentioned why I like the lights and the research that went into developing those LED lights. So even if you're not a DRE, let's say you do a lot of SFSTs, I really think that this pen light would help you out to do the job that you do. And I highly recommend you check their website or check them out on Facebook. And also they will be at the DRE National Conference this summer in Nashville. They will be one of the vendors there. So um, if, if you want a little bit more information or see the, the device for, for yourself in person, I definitely recommend checking them out there.